Oh no, she's showing her forehead? Now everyone's gonna talk about the forehead. Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video of my not so hot makeup products. It's been a hot minute, no pun intended. It's been like five or six months since I filmed one of these videos, and these videos are where I talk about products that aren't really worth purchasing, in my opinion, or may have not worked for me, per se. Maybe they'll work for you, but for me, uh-uh. Nope, didn't cut it. So, the first product I am sad to say that I did not like or didn't suit my needs is a company I'm obsessed with. They make some of my all-time favorite lashes. I'm wearing some of their lashes today. I don't remember the name of these. I remember there's something really cute and I'll put it right here. But these lashes, love them. They make some good liquid lipsticks and but their lashes are always on point and they send me so many awesome things and they sent me these things I'm going to tell you about today and it was so sad. They made a highlighter palette. This might have been a couple months ago but it's a high Violet Voss Pro highlighting powders and they come in this big pan in three different colors, Moon Gleam, Star Glow, and Unicorn Luster. These two look like dupes to the Becca Moonstone and almost like the Becca Jaclyn Hill Highlighter and Champagne Pop, but a little bit more bronzy. And this one has a more pink undertone. And if you swatch these, they are so chalky. And when you put them on your skin, ugh, they look like they were made with sand. They are so gritty and they just don't really blend nicely into the skin. They lay on top and they're like chunky, chalky, and a little bit gritty, which is weird. And it's so sad because this company is one of my all-time favorites and they do great lashes, like I said. And on Valentine's Day, you may have seen on my Snapchat and many other YouTuber Snapchats, Violet Voss sent out a PR package of these Party Girl and Charming liquid lipsticks for their Valentine's Day collection. I was so excited to try these, first of all. They're so my colors. There's like this mauve one in Charming that's like that great dusty dark rose that's kind of mauve that's semi 90s and just great for almost every day and it could play up to a nighttime look. Then there's this gorgeous red ruby like Wizard of Oz slipper looking red and I was so excited because I love red lipstick and I love that they have like a glittery tone to it. <sighs> There's issues with both of these that are totally different from each other. This one when I applied it to my lips I put on three layers three and it still kept getting so patchy that it would only line my outer line of my lip and then on the inside part of my lip it would not attach to my lip it wouldn't stay on it was like you could still see the skin of my actual lip and not the color it was so weird I've never had a situation like that with any liquid lipstick from Violet Voss or anything I'm actually wearing one of their colors today I'll put the name of the color right here and I loved it and I put a little bit of gloss on it and I loved it the consistency was spot on and I don't understand what happened if they rushed this because they got it to us. I think they usually give it to us before they come out. And this one, this one's the charming, great, rosy, dusty, mauve color. This one smells like butt. This smells like liquid latex. Like rotting liquid latex and I don't understand it. And it kind of had the similar thing where it didn't stay on the inner part of my actual the lip, just the line of it. But it wasn't anywhere as bad with that situation as this color Party Girl. And I'm so confused as to why these are happening to the Violet Voss if they changed their formula or what happened. Have any of you used Violet Voss's liquid lipsticks or highlighters and noticed like a formula change at all? Because my other ones from Violet Voss, no smell whatsoever other than like a regular liquid lipstick and they don't have like this weird consistency like these ones do and it's super sad and makes me actually depressed. But another company that sends me things was Velvet 59 and I don't know if I've talked about this but this is the Exotic Lotus palette. I was so excited about this too. Look at these colors. It's like a starry black. This tiger lily color. First of all, I'm surprised I didn't put a mirror here or something. But I was so excited about these two colors and these are so chalky and I just don't like them whatsoever. They're hard to blend and they're weird. Like if you swatch it and you put one spot on your hand, it looks pigmented, but if you try to blend it out, it's like 
unbearable. You can't do it. It sucks because it's vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and all that, but it's just not worth getting. This company, I haven't heard many rave reviews about it on YouTube or anything, but it's sad because their packaging is always cute. If any of you guys are huge drugstore fans, Drew Barrymore did Flower Beauty in Walmart, I think last year, I'm not sure, and one of my friends raved about this red color called Get to the Poinsettia, I'm not sure what that name is, but these suck so bad. This doesn't even really look that red. It's not very pigmented and it's like orange in a weird consistency to where it's like greasy. And I did not like these whatsoever and it made me really sad because they wore a little off and the, I just didn't like how they felt on my lips. And uh, it was so sad because these almost look, I don't like that red. I don't know why, I just don't like the orange, weird patchy red. But these two are not so so bad. This middle one looks like it could have been great. But Flower Beauty, I would pass on their lipsticks. No. Oh my gosh, Elf sent me a ton of things and I need to do a giveaway soon on my channel. But one of the things they sent me that I was super excited about, I've been so into highlighters lately. This is the Illuminating Palette by Elf and they're so affordable and great. I was so excited about this because they got a yellow tone base, a cool tone, a champagne, and a gold color. And I was so excited about these, but again, these are the chalkiest, weirdest consistency ever. They are very powdery. They give a weird off pigment and I couldn't blend these at all and I hated it. I just did not like this whatsoever. When you blend them, they like disappear and they're not there. Weird. And oh my gosh, I thought I lost this and I found it and I want to tell you guys not to buy this. This is the Cover Effects Correctors and it comes with this really cool click stick and you could put multiples of these. They come in like, I have green and like a salmon color for my under eyes and red spots. And me and my friends, when we went to Sephora together in Texas, we thought this was the coolest thing in the world and we're like, this looks so much fun. This looks like a, as seen on a TV product, it's like almost like a kid being attracted to the candy store and we were so hyped about this but when I tried this on my under eyes what they suggested on like the like the store thing there and they get stuck in here now I don't know how to get the green one up but green one out but these are so freaking greasy and they don't really cover well they smear just grease on your face and it's so terrible these are the Again, Cover Aesthetics Click Stick Concealer Correctors. Don't get them. This was a pretty penny too, I'm pretty sure, because it's Cover Effects from Sephora. Not worth it. And last but not least is Kevin Aquan Highlighters. Now, Kevin Aquan, the company itself, sent these to me, which is really sad because these, my friends, they are so fancy. I don't know how much these retail for. I never tried Kevin Aquan makeup. I've heard great reviews about Kevin Aquan, but these highlighters are the first makeup products I use. They come with a little duster bag, and look at the packaging itself. It's like gold, gorgeousness, and if you buy the two in the set, I don't know if you could buy this, but they gave this to us in PR package, and it was like a grand entrance. This was like the Porsche of all the PR packages I've gotten, but, if I get something free, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't care if the company doesn't want to send me things anymore. If it's not good, I will tell you. First of all, look at this one. This one's in Ibiza. These are highlighters. And I love how they had this ombre thing and I was so freaking excited to try this. And they have this golden bronze one in the color Sahara. And look at these for cool tone makeup, warm, natural. These would have been so great and they're humongous. This would have last me five years of like highlighting powders. These don't show up as anything on the skin. And I'm like, what? Are these supposed to be highlighters? I thought they were supposed to be highlighters. They're called, oh, they're in French in the back. So it's hard to see. But they have glow at the end of the name. So this one's called the Iridescent Glow, the Ibiza. And this one is also a Golden Rose Glow. So whenever I think glow, I think highlighters. And these don't do anything. I don't understand them. Okay, it's swatched in all the colors in each one and I thought this would have been so cool because you can mix colors and they barely show up. Maybe the purple one's good. See on my knuckle? The other ones don't like do much. Okay so my second or third review now, the purple in this Ibiza one's gorgeous. 
but nothing else like these other colors in it and this r rosy gold one doesn't show up and I just expected more from a more like prestigious brand because I heard such great things about this brand I'm like wait what so that was my not so hot makeup products today I hope you guys enjoyed this video again these products didn't work for me maybe they'll work for you but it's just really sad when companies make something I don't know if they change the formula or what they did, but I'm so sad about Violet Voss still. Leave me a comment down below on any other makeup products that you love or you didn't like that much. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.